I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was seeing because I was uh, I was sitting in your Discord in the yeah. channel, and I didn't know I didn't know if it pulls me. I don't know how the calls work. Oh yeah, it's just we're on a one to one call. It's like me calling your cell phone. You think I would just give you digits that quick? <laughs> so what's up, man? So we've no. we've we've communicated back and forth online, but this is our first time actually talking, man. How you doing? It's first it's, ever, it, first ever. It's great to talk to you. Yeah, same. Uh, I have questions for you. No, actually, a ton. That, that's not how it works. I got questions for you. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, so first and foremost, man. Can you introduce yourself to the people listening right now so they know kind of what what you do and what what your your streams about? Oh yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Seth Rogen and um, <laughs> I like making movies yeah. with my boyfriend James Franco and uh, smoke a little bit of weed. You actually I know your yeah. your Twitter bio says not Seth Rogen. Bruh, it's every day. It's literally every day in my life. He's out just like Seth Rogen. I mean, like I'm not going to be that guy that says that. But, but I, w I would need yeah. to meet you in person to identify that that is actually not true. Because it would be a great cover-up, you know? Cause well, we've never been in the same place at the same time, so. <laughs> so, tell me about your, your streaming history. How did you get started on Twitch? Uh, I was actually just talking about that earlier, someone asked, too. Um, oh, my I, lord. I just, I just like playing games and figured it'd be cool to have some people to talk to while I did it. And then... Nobody showed up forever and ever. <laughs> so they did. Uh, yo, let's uh, cause cause the deal with these interviews are it's they last as long as we live. So I I don't want you to die. Oh, okay. So, so we're moving slow. Slow and on the outsides, if if possible. Uh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, by the way, I had no idea I was going to be interviewed during this. <laughs> You did not explain that at all. What's I'm feeling that? off guard. I'm like, you're catching me off guard. I'm feeling no, a little bit attacked. No, it's just a casual conversation. But like a casual conversation with me is like pretty much an interview. Uh, if you're okay with that. No, it's fine, dude. Um, so how did you first find Twitch that you remember? Uh, I just remember some people talking about it, and I went and I watched it for about a half an hour, and I said, this is the dumbest fucking thing of all time. Why would anybody watch a video game when they can just play it themselves? This is... Real quick, I just want to preface, if you're if you're listening at home, uh, we do not censor interviews. We uh, To make everyone oh, feel at home, God. we we just, you know, uh, one of the things... I can, I can try. No, 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 no. Be, be you. Do not censor NSFW, yourself. NSFW. No, I'm no. not a good person. I, you're, you're a good person. Uh, just a heads up. All right, so you're like, this is dumb. Why would people watch? Someone? Yeah, like, okay. it, you know, it's just I didn't get it. And, and the, it wasn't until I found someone that I really enjoyed watching. And you kind of you get to, like, make almost like a connection. Like, you're like, oh, wow, this dude's really, you know, cool. I, I want to watch him more. And that's what it was. Who and was I got it? Who was the person that did it for you? Josh OG. Okay. CS. Okay. And you're like, yo, this dude's pretty cool. Yeah, so chill. It was, it was great. I loved it. And then how do you go from... Are you behind me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you go from watching to being like, hey, I want to do this? But again, it's just, I just... I was playing PUBG every night. And, you know, me thinking, well, I'm pretty decent at this game. People will watch me play for sure. You know, they'll definitely scroll down through thousands of other people. And so I just thought maybe some people will come and hang out. I don't know. Okay. It wasn't ever meant to be anything more than just like a hobby and, uh, you know, maybe some people would watch. Do you remember like roughly when you first went live? Like month or year? Oh, I mean, I had streamed before that, but it wasn't like I started doing it like every day and like, because uh, I wasn't working. I messed up my back years and years ago. What so, did you What did you used to do for work? Uh, painted houses, drywall, okay. concrete. Is that you? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm looting behind you. Yeah, I just shot a bot. You okay? Yeah, I'm going into the building here. Okay, I'm way behind you, so just a. Okay. I am outside near like the power. Sorry, I'm a. Uh, I'm an aggressive. Kind of hold W trash can. Um, I've never heard that terminology, but I can meet you in the office. You want to meet in the office? Yeah, there's a bot in there. I'm gonna kill. Okay. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, yes, sir. He's dead. 
Were you on the yellow no pipes? No, I'm okay. inside the office. There's someone outside the yellow pipes. Not anymore. Okay, I'm coming inside the office right now. Don't shoot. Well played. Yep. I'm on the second floor. Second floor? There's like a little like catwalk area. Oh, I got you. Okay. Um, So you're like, okay, so I'm going to start streaming. And then, oh, yeah. so, oh, so you did painting. You said you hurt your back. And then did that happen after you had already been streaming on Twitch? Or... No, I had never streamed. Um, I hurt my back long before. I I was a console pleb for a very long time. I've only been on PC for like five or six years. Okay. So this was like years and years had passed. And then, so I mean, I don't want to get. If you tell me, hey, it's too personal, it's too personal. So had you been out? Had you been out of work for a while, or did you switch to like a desk job or something? No, just out of work. Like, oh. basically. Sitting is excruciating. Standing is impossible after about an hour. What did you, what kind of injury did you sustain? Uh, well, I didn't know at the time. So it, my back just hurt, right? Mm -hmm. And it felt like it was so swollen. It felt like there was literally a grapefruit in my lower back. I'm like, what the hell is this? So naturally, um, I kept working like that for about six to eight months. Yikes. I mean, still got bills to pay, right? Yeah. And, uh, I just let it go. And then my doctor was like, well, I don't know. I mean, we can go get you an MRI, but you don't have insurance and that's going to be really expensive. I said, yeah. Um, okay. So what do we do? And she said, well, I can give you a hundred Vicodin. I said, okay, hell yeah, let's do that. And then she gave me more. And then, and then she wouldn't give me any more and I was upset. <laughs> I still had the pain. And so it, another two or three years pass, and I finally got the MRI, and it's, uh, I don't know, L4, L5 disc fucked and pushing on all kinds of nerves. It's a lot of fun. So then has that been, like, you manage it now, or, like, has it been fixed, or what's the... No, 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 no. There's days where I can only sit in this chair for a couple hours, and there's days where I can sit here for eight, ten hours. No big deal. It's just... They did what was the recommend like is a recommendation surgery? Yeah, they wanted to wait until it got worse to give me surgery. And I'm like, no, because it's not causing me any actual problems other than pain. Like, <laughs> I mean, that, that's a problem. <laughs> well, the way that the, the orthopedic surgeon explained it to me is that even with surgery, you might still be in a ton of pain anyway. Like, so that's not really sucks to suck. Yeah, like it just is what it is. Like they, mm -hmm. they can't guarantee it. So are right. so currently are you like scheduled to have surgery or you're just waiting? Nah. You're just no, wait. I'll, I'm just waiting to I guess uh they told me two things. They said if, if you start losing control of your bowels, that's a problem. And if you start walking and you drag one of your feet and can't pick it up, that that's that's when we're you know, that's when we're concerned about you. I'm saying, okay, thanks. Okay, so, so you're hanging in there, and then you're streaming on Twitch, and then when did you decide to go full-time? It wasn't really a decision so much of full-time as it was I wasn't doing anything anyway, so I just made, like, an actual schedule to see if people would, like, start showing up, because I figured it would make more sense, you know, like, have a schedule, right? Then people know when you're going to be on. Okay. So I just made a schedule around... It, it, it's right around three years ago, um, like August, this past August is probably like about three years. Okay. And then over the three years, has it just been kind of like a steady climb in terms of how your stream's been? No, I streamed PUBG for six months with a, four average viewers. Okay. Um, who were my friends with lurking so that I could get affiliate. Okay. And um, uh, we got a guy along the wall, far right, far far right. Okay. I am. I don't see him, so I'll let you take point. Yeah, he's up this way. He's like beyond this wall, oh. all the way along like the edge of the map. Let's uh, see how he likes that. Uh, so yeah, we did that for about six months. Nobody watched. I didn't really care. I was having fun anyway. A couple people would show up, and that was cool. And then, hold and, on, I lost you. Did you keep going the same way, or did you rap? Yeah, I've turned right. Okay. Ooh. Found him.
turn a grenade. He's what? mad. Where is he? Uh, somewhere just along the wall. I'm healing. Because I'm like 90 degrees from him. But I don't know where he is. I don't think he knows where I am either, luckily. I'm gonna be smart here. I wonder if he's it. Oh, I see him. There's a little break in the wall over here. He's kind of trapped there. Okay. I'm gonna. Is he near like that gun box? I'm throwing a Kobe. I don't know. There's a. That's my Kobe. All right, do you know where I am? Yeah. I'm like nine. Yeah, yeah, I see okay. you. I'm, okay. push, I'm pushing you right now. I don't. He's dead. Yo. I just couldn't hit him. He kept like. Uh... Did you ever play CSGO? Yeah. Yeah, dude, he was shoulder peeking me like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was just like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if there's more. Oh, oh he... no. He had literally nowhere to go. He was trapped in here. Uh, he was in the gun box. Okay, cool. Oh, he had nice things. He's level nine. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just guard you here. Um, okay, so you're streaming and you're you're playing PUBG. When did things change for you in terms of like growth and Tarkov? So you start you start playing Tarkov roughly when? Yeah. Uh, I got the game. A couple of my friends bought it for me. They bought EOD for me for my birthday in April of 2017. Cool. And then so you started streaming that. Yeah, I came from PUBG to here with a hundred followers. And okay. like two, three average viewers. And then when you first started streaming Tarkov, did it was it like a big jump right away? No, it was pretty gradual. Um, started off like five, ten people, and then fifteen, twenty, and then one day like this huge crazy jump for me where I had like a hundred people because Shroud started streaming the game for the first time. Uh huh. Uh, that was like late twenty seventeen. Probably like August or um, September, October, somewhere in there. Okay. And uh, yeah, that that was pretty nuts. And it just ever since then, it just you know kept going up. And like, have you been surprised or are you like, what's your when you fire up a stream? Like, do you have any expectation or you just do it and have fun and see what happens? I have fun to see what happens, but my expectation is always that no one's showing up ever. <laughs> Even after streaming for as many Listen, years as you have. There's a million toxic fat men who play games. Uh, I'm replaceable, you know? <laughs> it, it, but, like, I mean, your community continues to dial in. And then, like, this is, I would just not censor, but, like, if you can remove humor from this, like, there's people that tune in for you for a specific reason. What do you think that reason is? I think it's the same reason anybody watches Twitch most days. It's, um, you make a bit of a connection with somebody for whatever reason and you you use it to get away from your problems like the amount of people that come in and i'm sure you've seen this a million times too like oh, i'm going through a rough time lately watching you help me take my mind off it and it's made things a little bit better for me i do the same thing a lot of times when i watch streams um it's because i just don't feel like dealing with life and i would rather just escape for a couple hours yeah where you don't have to your things Oh, I got you. Well, that makes sense. Um, no, that's cool. And, and, and like, did it take you a while to wrap your head around that, like, you provide that for other people? It's still weird. It, I don't think I'll ever understand it. Even though I understand it, I don't think I'll ever understand it. What the hell is going on? Yeah, that's like, I mean, I'm sure it's similar to you, but, like, I'll get a message and say, hey, you know, thanks, and, like, an email. And it's like, I don't know. It, it, it feels good to get that, but... Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, it, it's, sure. it's just sometimes, I don't know. I don't know about you. Sometimes I lose sight of that and it's like, wow, that you actually, you know, do provide the entertainment or escapism for people and it's appreciated, you know? Yeah, 100%. Like, it, it, it's weird to me and I don't think I'll ever be, like, used to it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I, I appreciate it, like, I'll, so much, right? Yeah. So, so let me, let's, I want to talk about something on a macro level. So, kind of this past week or, seven to ten days has been what i call the tarconnaissance like the explosion okay. of tarkov what's your what's your overall opinion and, and vibe of of what's been going on and what do you think about it 
Well, I mean, it's good, obviously. Any exposure for the game is going to be a good thing. I mean, um, it's been nice seeing some some friends just like crazy shoot up in numbers. I mean, for me personally, it's been like four to five times average viewership in the morning. Uh -huh. You know, like that's that's insane to me. So that's been pretty cool. Um, but just for the game in general, it, it's going to be good. It's going to die off. And I think some people are might be in for a rude awakening. Like it's not going to be like this in a week. But <laughs> I think it'll be bigger and better than it was. Yeah. What's your prediction on when the drop? So drops end at, you know, today, what's your prediction on what happens in the next week or two in Tarkov? It starts to slowly fizzle out. There's a ton of the viewership right now is people AFK wanting drops, right? Yeah. Um, but there's also probably a fair amount of those people who did that. And then we're like, oh, well, this guy I was AFK watching, he's pretty cool. Maybe I'll come back and watch a couple streams sometime. Okay. So, but overall, like, on a macro level, you feel it's... Uh, you feel it's not sustainable, but overall, generally good for the game and community and everything. Oh, it'll be great. I'm, I'm especially hoping it's good for the game because all of the... I'm sure that they sold so many copies of the game, right? <laughs> Like, so I'm, I'm really hoping that that generates, uh, you know, some fire under the asses and, and we get some of the stuff fixed that's been needing to be fixed for a very long time. In your opinion, what are, because my opinion is I think they do a really good job of, you know, content and keeping things, keeping things, oh, you got someone? It was, no, that was an oh, accident. Oh, um, what's your, let's hit these stashes against the back wall. What, uh, show me where they are. I don't know where oh, they cool. are. Oh, cool. Um, what's your opinion on some things that you would like to see fixed in the game? It's really just the basics of a first-person shooter. Like it, what? It's the, the, the net code, hit registration, hit detection. Like it's, while it's 20 times better than it was when I started playing the game, it's still pretty lackluster in my opinion. In terms of when you say net code, like what's, uh, for someone watching or even me, like what's a specific example? You're like, uh, this is something I, I, I like to see. a perfect example. Yeah. Um, and this is more, I guess this is more um, third person modeling. I had an instance the other day where I was holding an angle, waiting for somebody to push past me. Mm -hmm. I had my lasers very clearly on the wall in front of me. On this man's screen, my lasers were out the doorway and he could see them. Stuff like that needs to never happen ever. Wait, so you're, hold on, so I gotta, I'm, I gotta dissect that. You're holding a corner, you have lasers on. Welcome, brand new subscribers. And then yeah. what happened? Here's a stash right here. You wanna hit this one? Oh. Yeah, so I've got my lasers on the wall to the right of the doorway so okay. that he can't see them because I wanna hide them, right? Yeah. Well, on his screen, they're not, and they're just out in the middle of the doorway and he sees it turns the corner and pre-fires the ever loving hell out of me. And they go through the wall? Or it just No, it was just misaligned and it was like my character was facing a different way than I actually was. And then, because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to push back respectfully. How do you know that he... I saw the recording. <laughs> okay. There's, yeah, a, yeah. There's, another, there's another one right here. Oh my god, they're everywhere. How do you find these? Uh, really, a lot of, 99% of it is from the community. I do something on my channel called Front Seating, where... I, I always like if people share their knowledge and tips, it's like, I love that, you know, it's like yeah. a, the inverse back seating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making it, uh, making it okay. But, um, okay. So, so net code hit some hit registration. Yeah. I mean, just, just basic first person shooters stuff. The hit reg is kind of spotty. I've had many times where uh, I've had someone shoot me like a teammate. I'm like, hey, shoot me in the chest. He's like, okay, and then he shoots me, and it hits me in the leg. Uh, I got you. And there's, you know, just stuff like that needs to be cleaned up and fixed and popped. I mean, I'm sure you've had plenty of instances yourself where you've been playing, and, uh, <laughs> you know, you feel like you shot the guy in the head, and then you're like, well, why didn't he die? <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm a little bit different when I, like, if, I, if something, like, happens and I lose, a lot of the times I'll watch the footage, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm just... I just potatoed it, you know, but... Oh, admittedly, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> oh, there's a... I think there's another stash right here, too. There's there's also a fair amount of times where uh, I was playing a week or two ago, and I ran out on the balcony, shot a man in the face, can see the blood on his face, and he didn't die. 
Uh, and then so I jumped off the balcony, ended up coming back around and killing him still, but he, he definitely should have been dead. <laughs> he didn't have a helmet on. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh, cool, I wanna... Five. Nice! I think we should... No, no, please keep it. Please keep it. Um... Let's let's head to extract though, because I don't want to. Those are really like they've they've done a lot of other stuff, and and I I do try to mention this when I bitch and complain about the game is that it's literally a million times better than it was two three years ago. It's I'm, so much better. I mean, I'm not trying to to salt your game at all, but I, what you're talking about, I've had a lot in PUBG, but I haven't had really in Tarkov. You know, like PUBG, I feel like is a little more wonky. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, I haven't played it in so long that I honestly, I don't know. Got it. In the times I have, like in the last year, I've played it probably twice. Got it. All right, so you came in firing pretty hot, and and it's rare that that we do this. But you said you had a few questions as as we stroll to the extract. Oh, I I want to know probably about the thing that everybody wants to know about you. What's that? Big brother. What about it? I don't know anything about it. I just think it's cool that you won like a game show thing. Like, I don't know anything about the show. I've never seen it. So I'll hit you with like the first great explanation of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like Survivor, but it takes place. Okay. It takes place in a house. Okay. So you don't, like just vote each other off and stuff. That's exactly it. Except it's the exact same thing, except without dealing with any of the survival elements. You know, like uh, you know, food and shelter and water. Like they just give you all that stuff. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. So it was a, you know, it was a really cool experience. And then, you know, uh, oh, I'm sure it was amazing. A decade plus later, it's led me to streaming Tarkov on Twitch. So it's <laughs> no kidding. That was 10 years ago. So yeah, 2008. And then again in 2012, I went on again. Oh, was it like a champions episode or something or a series? Uh, they just brought me back as like a returning player and uh, like a coach. And I got to pick a few players to kind of play on my team. Um, but I would highly recommend that you never watch it or any of the super cuts. You said uh, you would recommend that I watch it or you would not? Would not. Would not. Oh, really? Why? Because you'd probably look at this entire interview in a totally different light, having seen how I interact on the show. Oh, no. <laughs> now I have to watch it. Like, you totally just set me up to watch it. Um, but uh chicken man it's been great having you on can you uh tell the audience when and where they can find you live and best keep in touch with you uh usually at bars every night after I where are you from where are you from <laughs> pennsylvania okay uh el tuna no that's hershey far. that's, a, that's hershey? a couple hours i'm close to hershey okay what's hershey park like i want to go there one day it's uh, it's okay. It's a lot more fun when you're 12. Okay, but, does but it's, it, it's it's okay. Does it smell like chocolate when you roll up to it? So when I was a kid, I actually went to school in Hershey, and they took the chocolate factory out a few years ago, uh, because Mexico's cheaper, right? So, but when it was gonna rain, when it would be really humid, the entire town smelled like chocolate. Oh, I hate chocolate. Oh, I was like, that's like you're living in Willy Wonka town. That's amazing. But anyway, yeah. um, so tell people when, where they can find you and when you go live and all that good stuff. Uh, pretty much every morning. My schedule is so messed up, but it's like every morning, uh, like 8 a.m. Eastern. Okay. 8 a.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash chicken prism. Is that correct? What's up? It's twitch.tv slash chicken prism. Yeah, I gotta ask you one final question. What is the story yeah. behind your name, Chicken Prism? Xbox generated name I just kept like eight years ago. That's Yo, it. have you ever thought about like what would happen if they would have made you like donut envelope or something? Would you have kept it? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Chicken, thanks so much for coming on, man. I appreciate. I know we thanks went a little me, late. Dude. Yeah, dude. I, I look forward to keeping Welcome in touch. A ton of fun. If you uh, ever want to get some games in, just hit me up on uh, DM. Sounds good, man. Thanks for coming on. Yep, see you, bud. Later. Yo, can the Moderinos drop a heavy, heavy... Yo, Shan is already ahead of the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chicken Prism. I tell you what. We got a wide assortment of interviews today. I will... I'll do a better job on the front end of hitting you with the NSFW warning. Um, but I think it's cool. It's cool to get to know other people in the community. Um... 
He's uh, part of the crew. I know. He's, I think he runs with Deadly Slob a little bit in Markstrom. Um, but it's cool. That's the first time I talked to him. And it was, uh, it was a fun interview. Definitely, like, I like... There's just a lot of different personalities. <laughs> Anyways, reach in the back pocket. Spam the hard W. And how are we getting all these wins, too? I would love to interview Cotton. Um, I just... I don't have a direct way to contact him. I sent him... I think I've reached out to him on Discord. But I think he gets flooded. So I, I would love to interview him. Um, but I have no real way to contact him. Um... Because I don't think his DMs are open on Twitter. And it's just like, just kind of like a rule of thumb for streaming on Twitch. In my opinion, I guess I guess it's not a rule of thumb. It's how I feel about it. Like, I would never... Going into someone's channel when they're live and saying, Hey, I want to interview at a later date. I don't know. It just doesn't really feel like something I would do. It's not like... Especially someone I don't really know. It'd be like different than going into Kobe's or, you know, Ryan's. It, it, it's like, they'd be like, hey, Dan, would you recommend doing that? I'd be like, no. It's, but I, I would love to have him come on, no doubt. Um, all right. We got a long show planned for you today. Um, we got a lot to catch up on. I'm going to go take a, a quick three-minute break. Um, I'm going to run three minutes worth of ads. I'm going to leave the, uh, the chat up. And I'll be back in three short minutes. And then we may be able to get in a, a scav run before our next interview. Let me double check the schedule here. But we got another one. Yeah, we got another one. No, we got a little time. We got some time. So we'll do a solo run next for sure. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking around. Thanks for being here. And uh, the ads support the channel. <laughs> 